Cisco UCS Manager, creating a service profile with the expert wizard. A service profile defines a single server and its storage and networking characteristics. When a service profile is deployed to a server, UCS Manager automatically configures the server, adapters, fabric extenders, and fabric interconnects to match the configuration specified in the service profile. Service profiles can be created using one of several methods. This video demonstrates how to create a service profile using the expert wizard. In the navigation pane, click Servers. Right-click Service Profiles and select Create Service Profile Expert. In the Identity Service Profile panel, specify the service profile name, the UUID assignment, and then click Next. You can click Finish to create a service profile with all the defaults, or you can choose to configure all or any of the following. In the Storage Provisioning panel, under the Specific Storage Profile tab, enter a description for the default specific storage profile. Note that there can only be one specific storage profile associated with a service profile, hence the name is not user configurable. Select a local LUN from the list. You can also create a new local LUN for this specific storage profile. You can create a new controller definition, and you can create a new security policy for this storage profile. Under the Storage Profile Policy tab, select either an existing policy or create a new policy and select it from the drop-down list. On the Local Disk Configuration Policy tab, select an existing policy or create a new policy and select that from the drop-down list. Click Next. In the Networking panel, select an existing Dynamic VNIC connection policy or create a new policy and select it from the drop-down list. Note that Dynamic VNICs, USNICs, and VMQs are not supported when creating a VNIC for a LAN connectivity policy. ROCE, VXLAN, and NVGRE are not supported when configuring the Ethernet adapter policy. There are various options for configuring LAN connectivity. Select Simple to create a maximum of two VNICs for this service profile, Expert to create an unlimited number of VNICs and iSCSI VNICs for this service profile, no VNIX to not create any VNIX. Hardware inherited to use the VNIX assigned to the Ethernet adapter profile associated with the server. And use connectivity policy to select the LAN connectivity policy that you want to use. Also, choose the service profile level IQ and initiator name. For this demonstration, we'll use simple. Click Next. In the SAN connectivity panel, specify the SAN configuration. There are various options for configuring SAN connectivity. Select Simple to create a maximum of two VHBAs for this service profile. Also, choose a worldwide node name that you want to use. Select Expert to create an unlimited number of VHBAs and choose a worldwide node name. No VHBAs to not create any VHBAs for this service profile. Hardware inherited to use the VHBAs assigned to the Ethernet adapter profile associated with the server. Use Connectivity Policy to select the SAN connectivity policy that you want to use. For this demonstration, we'll use Simple. Click Next. In the Zoning panel, select VHBA Initiators and add them to the Select VHBA Initiator groups. Click Next. In the VNIC VHBA Placement panel, select an existing placement policy or create a new policy. When selecting an existing placement policy, you can let the system automatically perform the placement. You can also manually specify the placement of the existing VNICs and VHBAs. Then click Next. In the VMedia Policy panel, select an existing VMedia policy or create a new policy and select it from the drop-down list. Click Next. In the Server Boot Order panel, specify an existing boot policy or create a new policy and select it from the drop-down list, and click Next. In the Maintenance Policy panel, specify an existing policy or create a new policy, and select it from the drop-down list. Click Next. In the Server Assignment panel, specify the server assignment from the drop-down list, then the power state to apply on assignment, and then click Next. You can create a server pool or a host firmware package from this panel. 
and in the Operational Policies panel. Configure the system operational information by selecting existing policies or creating new policies for each area specified. Click Finish and then Yes to confirm. The newly created service profile is displayed under the selected organization.